Yo, what's up? We're here with Lunacy, and we're about to do a live off the stage interview. We're doing all right. We on? I'm Lunacy. We're in Weymouth. You are watching off the stage. Go fuck yourself. I make you wanna smash things up. I need to take a breather. This lemon cheese is giving me emphysema. But what else are we to do to pass the time? Stop your hand off for that door. You don't have to ask me twice. You've already been told like a bad wife for the black and die. The game's full of dick riders. Right? This is so disgusting. What do you think Mark would be like without technology? Um, shit. Probably. It'd be a lot less to do. And it'd be harder to get all the cunts and know what's going on in the world and I'd have to talk more instead of just playing music on the internet and being lazy. I like it, but I think it's too lazy. Organize the flash mob just to run through the city, but naked until they call the cops. Is it just a warning shot? It's like my dick is laying on your top. Cause I'm just giving you a little taste of what's to come. Broken glass on the What was it like being on tour with Hobson? <laughs> yeah, it was dick, man. Um, we toured Australia with him. Um, we was about to start an artist called 360, who's an Australian rapper, he's sick. Because I'm on 360's album, so he put me on the tour too. But then as soon as that tour finished, uh, Hopson put us on his UK tour straight after that. So, yeah, it's been good, man. Like, me and the keep the whole tour. Good, man. They're, they're good guys too, man. It's good to chill with them guys. And um, Hopson's DJ, DJ Hopper, he's a cool guy too. He's just spent most of the tour just getting stoned and pissed for him. <laughs> I mean, I, I saw on Facebook you doing something like lesbian sandcastle or something. Yeah, we always did a beach, and me and Popsin made um, sand lesbian. <laughs> and that's that. So it's go look for the picture on Instagram. It's exactly what I said. <laughs> sand lesbian. And two of them. One sand lesbian being eaten out by another one. And they have like seaweed hair. I like it. I did when see it. It was, it was a good graphic experience. So uh, obviously your, your new EP has just come out uh, a couple of days ago, was it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you, uh, do you want to tell us a little bit about your EP and where it's at? I saw it uh, overtook Drake in the uh, UK iTunes chart, was it? Yeah, man. Um, basically, because it's coming to the end of the year, I've got a lot of music that's um, ready to drop in 2015. I've got a free mixtape coming at the start. I'm still working on my album to drop that. We also have the Fly Tippers mixtape to drop. Because I've got so much like saved up. I haven't really been able to drop anything like at the back end of this year, but I just thought, fuck it. Got like a little four track EP together. Put that out. And yeah, man, it went to fucking number two in the iTunes hip hop chart. Overtook Rick Ross and Drake. Rick Ross's new album. And it got to like 30 in the main chart. Like. <laughs> So yeah, yeah, it was good, man. I was fucking surprised because it's just a four-track EP, so it was just something to throw out. But yeah, it seems to have done really well. So I'm excited for dropping some more shit in 2015. I'll get offended when the woman has a breast reduction Puff, puff, pass that ashtray and buy your own weed Spot my spliff to the ropes, don't say I said that shit before Split a key into all so, season So, let's have a look at it, right? You've gone from uh, your freestyle battle events And you're going on to doing your own shit What's the difference between doing the freestyles and doing your own shit? It's a lot different, man Like, the two got, got, got hand in hand, like not a lot of battle rappers can make good music, not a lot of musicians can do good battles. Two rock dot usually go hand in hand, but there are a lot of people who can do both. The same with freestyle videos, there's a lot of people who kill it on SBTV, but their songs are shit. Like they got bars, but they can't write books or they can't structure a song or make an album like that. So, yeah, there's a lot, it's a lot different, man. There's a lot of different aspects that you don't first realize without just doing it for years of just being in the studio and making songs. So, yeah, man, it's a lot different. Obviously, you, you've gone from the extent of doing, you know, you broke through in the UK, you've gone through to the American artist. Is there anybody in particular? Right now in the UK scene that you would like to sort of get on with or uh, do something with? Yeah man, um, I'm just about to do some tracks with Heavy Trackers who've done the German Whip beat and uh, Stormzy's track, not that, so he's like, uh, they're going crazy at the moment but yeah, we're, I'm about to work with them, they're doing really well. But like the guy, an M as an MC, 
Probably a big nasty man. That's probably who I want to do a track with. He's, I buzz off that guy, he's fucking crazy. So I think we could do a good track together. So, yeah. just, just explain to me just for a minute, you know, what the whole fly tip and stuff is about. Because obviously, in that sort of element, you are the big name who comes out of that uh, the sort of fly tip. As, so just, just just explain exactly what the whole fly tip of it is all about and uh, where it's going. It's, it's just a crew of dudes from West Yorkshire who've been rapping together for like, what, how many years? A lot of years, man. Five, five six years. Five. That's how long I've been rapping with you. Like, so many other guys I've been rapping with them for more like eight years since, since I started and shit. So, yeah, man, it's bit, it's just, we're just a bunch of dudes who make music together. There's not much else to it, man. Like, we are not fucking gang. We don't. Is, it, is there anything going to come out from a, a Fly Tippers project? Yeah, we got, we got a free mixtape coming out in 2015. Like, it's already made. We just got to get that shit mixed and banked out. We've yeah. kind of like we've always been doing shit and we've worked on each other's pro solo projects and always been doing shit and shows and stuff, but we never actually dropped a fly tippers project, so it'll be interesting to see. Yeah man, the reaction really cool. see. You guys obviously from being up north and venturing down south with the music that you're doing, do you feel there's a divide within the music scene from north to south in the UK hip hop scene? Or do you feel that it's all sort of fair game everywhere you go? I don't necessarily feel like we're held back or there's a divide or we're being pushed out because my music gets played on the radio. I know a couple of northern artists who get to do all that shit, get bookings, get like... There's not much that I'm not doing that other southern artists are doing that I'm not allowed to do because I'm northern, yeah. so like... Do you feel like you have to, to, to break it into that mainstream sort of circle? Of, of the hip hop scene, do you feel like you have to go and above and beyond what most rappers are doing down south to try and break it through into the market, or do you just think that you just have to be better or at least as good as them? Like you just have to be doing, just prove prove your place, man. Like it's not a it's not a it's not a negative thing to have a different accent to most other rappers. It's a different, it gives you a different sound. I've always seen it as a quality, as like a, a good yeah. thing. So it seems like everybody within the UK scene down south. You know, sometimes it doesn't really matter what bars you're spitting, it's all about the sort of average Joe, everybody's coming out, they're all coming out with the London accent. And when you sort of hear something from up north, it's kind of refreshing, you know, you've got this nigga dumb sort of vibe and all yeah, that man. Sort of stuff going down. It's not just the accent either, man. Right. Us as a crew, like our whole approach to music is completely different to anything anyone else is doing. Like, even up north, there's not people doing shit that they don't rap about the same shit we rap about or in the same way. We don't really sound or use southern words like that, you yeah, know what yeah. I mean? Like, it's a lot more tongue and cheek, that's the sort of Yeah, yeah, we don't, we don't take ourselves as serious either, like, it's not all jokes and we do do... We've got a lot of music that means shit to us and we're, we're serious about it, but it, at the same time we don't take ourselves too seriously and fucking... That means we're not uptight like that, we, got, we can have a laugh and shit. Yeah. Have the fuck out of life. Where is it going right now is in terms of sort of performance wise and getting booked up for next year? Is it, is it yeah, that ne is? next year is going to be big man, I'm looking to do the whole festival season again. Um, I'm hoping to be playing like Leeds Fest and Reading and shit. I've just got to find that out very soon. We're, still, we're already getting bookings for next year, but I'm looking to do my own tour once the album comes out. So yeah, I want I want to do my own tour in Australia too. Oh, but yeah. um, I definitely need to do the UK one ASAP. But yeah, I'll have more news on that soon. Look out for the Fly Tippers mixtape. That's my crew, Fly Tippers, including my boy Minus, aka Troy Silk, aka Fish Tank Cover. Um, also my DJ, DJ Heritage. AKA Paul. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, there's a few other MCs in that. Chief Wigs, uh, Wide Boy. Yeah, go check that. Hash Finger as well, he's a beat maker. So look out for our mixtape. Um, I got some shit coming with Tommy Dockers, look out for that. Um, and yeah, my, my clothing label, Boy, look out for that. I've got a lot of shit dropping all the time. It's been going years, doing good. So yeah. Buy some shit. So what's happening? This rounds up another episode of Arvo. Off the stage, and we're here. Big up Lunacy. Thanks for having me, man. Pleasure to see you. Stay. Take it. <laughs> Go fuck yourself. I ain't into it. I ain't into it. All we started something new, but never finished shit.